These days, many of us are producing music or mixing and mastering either on the go or in a home environment using headphones. The Immerse Virtual Studio with Avid plugin allows you to mix from anywhere and always be in the sweet spot of an amazing sounding pro quality studio from the comfort of your favorite headphones. The studios featured in Immerse are the real world workspaces of award winning artists and engineers accurately representing their entire mix chain. You'll get to sit in their studio listening to your mix. But what's the most important thing about how you're listening to your mix? It's your ears, of course. By taking a picture of your right ear and using Embody's artificial intelligence algorithms, we can transport you into the virtual studio tuned to your ears. Today, we'll take an in-depth look at the features in Immerse, and I'll walk you through how to set up your profile in your Pro Tools session. All right, let's get you set up. You can download Immerse Virtual Studio directly from the Avid Marketplace, or on the Embody website, you can start a free trial and download from the Get It Now link, where you'll see the installers for Mac or Windows. Simply download and unpack and follow the instructions. Once complete, launch your Pro Tools session. Immerse is a headphone monitoring plugin, so we recommend inserting it into your master fader track at the end of the signal chain. Of course, if you're using a dedicated headphone bus on your hardware, um, go ahead and insert the plugin directly to that bus. You'll find Immerse under multi-channel plugin, sound fields, and Immerse Virtual Studio Avid. On the first screen, you can just enter your email address and you'll receive a PIN code. Just check your email and enter the PIN code. You'll enter your PIN code and press next. Here you'll see a QR code screen and I do recommend you watch the tutorial video on how to take a good image, but I'll walk you through the process. Open your phone camera app and place it in front of the monitor in front of the QR code screen. Click on the link that pops up to open the web app. Be sure to allow camera access. And now to take a good right ear image, hold the phone so that your whole face fills the screen. And make sure that the phone is not above you or below you, but directly in front of you. And then just Make sure your hair's not in the way. Turn your head to the left and click anywhere to take a picture. Make sure that your ear image is about the same size, the lighting looks good and it's not blurry and there's no hair in the way. Then click yes, proceed. Once you see the success screen, then you can go back to Pro Tools, click on the done button and download your personalized profile. And now we can get started. Since Immerse Virtual Studio is a headphone experience, you'll notice on the upper left corner, you can choose your favorite headphones. We have AKG, Odyssey, Audio-Technica, Bayer Dynamic, and Sennheiser headphones. But if you don't find your favorite model, you can click on standard headphone models and select from different styles. Below the headphone menu, you'll see a couple of controls. If you'd like to hide the controls or hide the studio, especially if you're working on a laptop or a small monitor. And now we have the studio browser. The first studios are Echo Bar, Studio A and B. And if you're not familiar with the Echo Bar, they have mixed, produced, and engineered some amazing artists like Michael Jackson, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre. And one of the engineers, Eric, actually designed the studios that you can experience here, as well as Dave Pensado's studio. You'll notice that if you hover and click on the different monitors, you can change which ones you're listening to. To find out more about the studios and different views, you can click on the different page buttons and also learn a little bit more about the engineers. In Echo Bar Studio B, you'll see that this is actually the studio of Bob Horn. And I love his studio because he has these really large Auspergers as well as these small, almost mono Eve speakers, which have a surprisingly nice frequency response. But it's really nice to be able to hear the sound field between those two ranges. 
We also have the Diamond Control Room, which is at the SAE Expression College, and has this gorgeous SSL 9000 board. Here, you'll hear both the Dynaudios as well as these soffit mounted Meyer speakers, so don't miss those on top mounted on the wall. We also have the Spitfire Studio from Warren Hewart, who many of you may know from the Produce Like a Pro series. He has two different sets of monitors, Focals and Genelex, and I really like listening to his room on drums. I feel like it represents the entire sound field of the drums very accurately. Maybe it's because he's a rocker and his room is tuned really to listen to drums very well, um, but I find that this studio sounds great for that. We also have Music Friends, which is the studio of Grammy award-winning mixer, producer, and engineer Carlos de la Garza, who's worked with Paramore, Best Coast, Bad Religion, among many others. He has two different sets of speakers, the PMCs and the Unities, and he also has this very beautiful Wunder audio console. You'll notice that some of the rooms are tuned to different reference levels, so your mix may sound quieter or louder depending on which studio you're listening to. This is part of the design. For example, Echo Bar Studio B has a slightly lower overall SPL level than, for example, Warren Hewitt's Spitfire Studio. Let's talk a little bit more about the controls. We already looked at the speaker selection, which can happen up here or down here. And then there's the ambient slider. You'll notice that the ambient slider, which brings in the amount of room that you're hearing, the balance of it sounds a little bit different for every studio. Again, if you're listening to the Echo Bar Studios, there's a lot of treatment, they're a fairly dead room. If you're listening with a more live room, like Music Friends Studio, you'll hear a wider range when the ambience, for example, is at 100. You'll hear more of that liveness. I recommend starting at an ambience level of around 40%. In, if you're not hearing the accuracy of the room, you can always move it up. Here we have the master gain, in case you want to correct that, and some dB meters. On the next tab, we have the limiter. I recommend starting your listening experience with the limiter off. It's not always necessary, but where it might can be helpful is depending on your audio output device. If uh, the signal goes above zero dB, if you hear any kinds of distortion, you can go ahead and engage the limiter. Or if you're looking to make sure that your peak levels are very close to the original stereo sound, go ahead and engage the limiter for that as well. Over on the settings wheel, you'll find some additional, more advanced settings for audiophiles looking to really fine tune your listening experience. To get the most of these, I recommend listening with vocals or something that has a lot of transients and a wide frequency range as well. The clarity slider is an effect on your personal profile, which brings in more of the original details and tonal quality of the original sound as you increase the level on the clarity slider. If you move it all the way to the right, Clarity 7, you might experience a little bit less of the spatial immersion, but you'll have a little bit more of those original details in the sounds. So this is a very personal preference as to how you'd like to listen in these spaces. I prefer a clarity level of around two. There is a balance slider. If you're feeling like your stereo field needs to be adjusted slightly to the left or to the right, Everybody hears a little bit differently, and I recommend listening with something that has a very strong center focus and then adjust this appropriately if need be. Lock studio during audio playback. This is engaged by default because we want to make sure that you have the best listening experience possible. And if you're switching between studios while listening to your sounds live, it's kind of like teleporting to different studios. It can be very disconcerting and confusing and disorienting. So we don't actually recommend listening that way. We want to make sure that you have the best experience. So please wait until your audio is stopped or press the space bar, then click your new studio. Of course, you can bypass this if you wish. The next setting, Bypass During Offline Bounce to Disc, is enabled by default. Since Immerse is designed for monitoring on headphones, 
we're not expecting you to bounce it to the audio file that is your final master. So we will automatically turn off the audio DSP when you're doing an offline bounce to disk. If you're doing an online or real-time bounce to disk function, please remember to bypass the plugin if it, you don't want it to be part of your mix. Of course, if you're looking for a special effect that you want to have the sound of a studio on an instrument, for example, you can turn this off and bounce your file that way. Minimum phase response allows you to hear a higher quality of the phase response of your personalized profile. So if you're a super audiophile, you might hear a difference when you activate minimum phase response. And if we look over to the right, you'll see the more information about the studios and some links to the websites and socials so that you can listen to examples and get to know them better. Up on the upper right corner, you will see your user profile information. If you'd like to add a user, you can click on the plus button. And if you would like to remove a user from your computer, you can click on the minus button. Now, some people, the first image that they submit might not be the best image. Maybe the sound quality isn't sounding quite right to you. We recommend trying another image. Now, of course, this can be affected by a few factors such as your lighting or slight blurriness in your ear or the angle of your head not being right. So if the plugin's not sounding quite right to you, go ahead and try another image and see if the sound quality is improving. And if you're loving the way that Immerse Virtualist Studio is sounding, you can go ahead and click to activate. You can click on the Buy Now button, and that'll take you to the Avid Marketplace where you can purchase your activation code. If you have your activation code, you'll find that in the email after your purchase, and you can enter it right here and activate. I hope you've enjoyed this video and get a chance to try out Immerse Virtual Studio for yourself. You can start a free trial by downloading from the Embody website or purchase your license on the Avid Marketplace. Happy mixing!